For decades, people have wondered if life on Mars is possible. Now we may be closer to an answer. Water, an essential component of life as we know it, may currently be on the red planet. Scientists have been keeping a close eye on Mars and have captured images that could reveal the presence of water. Take a look at the photos snapped from NASA's Mars Recognizance Orbiter. They're raising a lot of questions. The formations are shaped sort of like fingers. They appear and disappear depending on the season. Scientists say this could be pretty convincing proof that there's water uh, and, and believe it to be salty. Great news for the hundreds of people planning on going to Mars in the next decade, or hoping at least. The Mars One mission is offering one-way tickets to the Red Planet. As you see, there's plenty of takers. I want to go to Mars because I feel like an alien here. For me, it's not just about Mars. It's about everything out there in the unknown. I don't ever buy any furniture. I just find it by the side of the road. And if I can't find it by the side of the road, I make it out of cardboard. I'm resourceful. I'm sure you have to be resourceful if you want to make it uh, on Mars. For more on this, I'm joined by Ludrendra Oja. He's a graduate student at Georgia Institute of Technology and published a paper with the findings. Hello there. So, can you explain these these uh, the, these images are pretty cool looking, but uh, I think they're hard to understand. Can you describe to the layperson what the images show and why they're significant? Yeah, so the images were uh, captured by a uh, high-res camera on Mars reconnaissance orbiter, and what you're seeing is these uh, finger looking like in these uh, dark streaks that are forming uh, when the temperature is right uh, on Mars. So, uh, you know, a lot of other things on Mars is driven by uh, carbon dioxide activity, but uh, what you're seeing there is uh, these things that are forming and growing when the temperature is just right for water, liquid water to exist on Mars. So they're forming and growing, and then they're fading over time. And we think these are probably grinds on the present day surface of Mars. Hmm. I want to ask you, because it seems like every year, every other year, there's kind of new news about <laughs> uh, water sure. being on Mars. So uh, what's the significance of this discovery? Yeah, exactly. Like I mean, every year, there's some sort of claim about water on Mars. And uh, we're probably like the 100th uh, discoverer of water on Mars. But what we're proposing is actual liquid water. A lot of people have proposed uh, um, you know, it's like a water on the Mars's past or water in the mineral phase, but what we're talking about is, uh, you know, something like a stream you would find on your backyard or something, you know, it's actual liquid water on the surface. So it's much different than uh, maybe some of the previous claims. And also there, there also has been a lot of previous claims that they thought it was actual liquid water on Mars and they uh, just, I mean, the evidence did not stand up. And we published this, the initial paper we published back in 2011, so it's been three years now and no one has been able to come up with an alternative hypothesis to explain these features. Mm, so H2O in liquid form, a uh, sign of that. Uh, could you drink it? Uh, you could probably drink it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, if it is water, it's probably very salty, too. Uh, just so, you know, like the pure water, like we have it in Earth, it would probably not be stable on the surface of Mars. So if you have water, it's probably going to be very salty. Okay, okay, so uh, I don't blame you for not wanting to drink it. Yeah. want to ask okay. you, uh, one of the first men to step on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, is on a mission to get the first human on Mars. Uh, he was here at a conference not too long ago. I caught up with him, Mr. Aldrin, mm -hmm. and uh, asked what his vision is for Mars. Here's what he had to say. A growing permanent settlement where people arrive there knowing that they're going to spend the rest of their life and they've been trained as a team to add to that with varieties of different achievements. So very, very ambitious outlook yeah. for life on Mars or, or inhabiting it and even starting a civilization there. I mean, what do you think? Is the new discovery more proof that Mars is habitable for humans? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an interesting question, really. It's, uh, I guess, one of the holy grail of human uh, curiosity. And uh, uh, with certainly with this discovery, I mean, we know that there's uh, water ice on Mars. That's been known for a while now. But, you know, so, I mean, uh, hypothetically, we can go to the surface of Mars, melt the surface, subsurface ice, and have water. But what we're proposing is, well, in some places, you actually have liquid water. 
So, you know, uh, it looks better and brighter for uh, Buzz Aldrin's plan, yeah. Definitely. Right, yeah. And uh, this Mars One mission, mm -hmm. a very ambitious mission, within a decade is when they hope to really start getting people on, on Mars and to start building yeah. up that civilization. Uh, yeah. Do you think that this mission is, is attainable? Um, I know there's a lot of people that are, are signing up for these one-way tickets, they, that, yeah. which means they'd, they'd arrive there and they wouldn't come back to Earth. Um, they become Martians, essentially. What do you think? I mean, is this another sign that this is a feasible, <laughs> uh, feasible venture? Uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, you know, uh, technically, I mean, you know, from the technical standpoint, I think we're a bit, uh, bit back in uh, being able to achieve the stream. But uh, I certainly hope so that we're able to do this. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I have my doubts, but I, I kind of you know, hope that my doubts are just doubts and someone will prove me wrong and we actually land there in 10 years. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. It's, uh, um, that'll creep up on us sooner than we think, I, I, I bet. Um, yeah. <laughs> appreciate yeah. you coming on. Very, very interesting developments there. That was Lujendra Odra, a graduate student at the Georgia Institute of Technology.